welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange, where we have an inspired conversation with a leader, thinker, and motivator. And on today's episode, we have an incredible guest, none other than Lindsay Smith. Y'all give it up for Lindsay. Oh, thank you, Gary. Thank can, you can, so much. <laughs> can you hear him clapping for you? You've got quite hear, the fan yeah. club. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Let, let them simmer down a little bit before we get started. <laughs> this is incredible. Well, Lindsay, thank you so much for joining us on uh, today's episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. Before we get started, I wanted to give you a moment to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Absolutely. So um, I am a mother of two, married to a fantastic man. Um, and I started out teaching. I used to be a high school teacher. And then uh, just like so many teachers that I know nowadays are burned out and uh, stressed out and <laughs> just so many things. So found an exit and started doing digital marketing. So I work now for Social Media Torch and that is local to Frisco, Texas. And we have, uh, we just moved into a, a new office. We're expanding and growing and just lots of great things happening. So that, that is outstanding. And, and Lindsay, yeah. you know, I've, I've always admired you because you are an incredible thinker. And the the times that I've had an opportunity to connect with you, chat with you, and kind of, you know, just really, you know, just kind of have conversations with you. I love the way you think. And you are from in, in my perspective, you're quite the leader in the way that you think and the way that you execute. Because I I know the person that you work with, and he is a is a huge visionary. He and is. what I've seen with you and I'm so impressed with is that you are that thinker that is able to take that huge vision, bring it down into something tactile and to make it happen. And you're that leader that I just I'm, I'm just so admire so much because of that skill and that talent you have. And so I love to connect with leaders and just peek behind the curtain a little bit and ask what inspires this inspiring leader? And so, Lindsay, you sent back some incredible points, and I can't wait to get to these with you. The first one that you talked about is mindset. Yes. And you talk about a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. And I, I love the way that you, you preface this. So tell us a little bit more about how mindsets and this growth fixed mindset. Explain it a little bit to us and what that means and how that inspires you. Absolutely. So, uh well, this actually starts with my teaching career, and I started my teaching career in a uh, disadvantaged, it was a Title I school, so we had book studies as leadership, as teachers. The entire school did this this book study, and that's where I, I read this book. It's by Carol Dweck, um, and she is really like the 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 pioneer on this this thought process, and just the research and all of the stuff going behind that. But um, what we, what I learned from her and her research was just that everything that you think you know can be changed. Everything the way that you think you think can be changed. <laughs> and it just was such a huge, huge, just lit off the pot for me of like, wow. And I started implementing this, like the reason we did that was because we wanted to help these kids stop the perpetual cycles that they were found in, that they, they didn't ask for, that they didn't, you know, that's just life. So how do we get them out of this cycle, this rut, this stuck feeling? And it all starts with your mindset. So you have one of two mindsets, it's either fixed or growth. And uh, a lot of fixed mindsets are very like, that's too hard. I don't want to try. This isn't like, why am I doing this? And growth mindset is, I can try that. I want to try a harder one. I want to see what I can, what I'm capable of. It was all about this possibility of, I can do it. I can do all things. and. In my mind, and I think a lot of this has just, it's just been a learning, a continuous building block for me since I read that book of going back to it. Um, 
it all comes down to fear. Ooh. Yeah. So fixed mindsets are, are in that kind of fight or flight or fr- frozen. Mm-hmm. They freeze. They're, they're afraid or they run away from the challenge or the unknown, the possibility, um, because they don't want to fail. They don't want to fail. They don't want to, they, they have that fear of I'm not good enough. I can't do this. Um, this isn't, this isn't for me. So they just, they get stuck and they put this lid on themselves and say, this is what I know. This is where I, this is what I'm comfortable with. This is where I'm going to stay. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> and and Lindsay, there's so much to unpack there's from what so you much. just, it's, you know, there's a couple of things that really resonate with me is one, Lindsay, I love that you, you, you've got that book mindset by Carol Dweck, uh, mm-hmm. an incredible book. And we'll put the link to get that book. I highly encourage everyone to grab a copy of that book and read it because it really even, is one of those, even for yourself. Yeah. It's a game changer kind of book. Mm-hmm. If you really absorb that. And, and Lindsay, I love that you've, you've read that book and you've really kind of embraced that, that um, kind of that, that execution of that. Yeah. And I, I like how you started and you applied it uh, and you applied it to these kids that you were teaching with and, you know, that title one school, and well, what- even, even in all schools, I didn't stay at the title one school forever. And I went to mm-hmm. a different school, which was totally like, if you think of the opposite of where I was, that's the other school that I taught at. Mm-hmm. And even these kids had this mindset of, I don't know how to, how to, how to have a growth mindset. Mm-hmm. And so with them, I developed this analogy of, okay, let's pretend you're, you're in a, you're in a jungle, Right. And, um, you're, you're at a crossroads, let's say, and one path is very well laid out. It's very, it's been walked on so many times. It's smooth. There's no vines. There's no roots. There's no trees. There's no nothing. It's just grass kind of, and it's very even because it's been trotted down a lot. That is a fixed mindset, a growth mindset is going to have a path that's a little bumpy. It's got some rocks. You might trip. You need to get back up and keep moving forward. There might be stuff in your way that you have to knock down, but it's the matter of, I'm going to develop this new path of possibility. It might be a better, it might be a better pathway. We don't know because it looks a little scary. It's unknown. We don't know what's hanging out in there. There might be snakes hanging down from the tree or something, you know, like, yeah, yeah it's, it reminds me of like um, Beauty and the Beast when mm-hmm. when the dad is going to the fair and um, he takes the the darker road and and look what happens it leads down to something better at the end. Wow, I love what you said. Path of possibility. Yeah. I think that is such is such a great analogy to what a fixed versus a growth mindset is. And uh, also, Lindsay, I love how you talked about fear prevents a lot of people from kind of exploring that growth mindset or exploring that path that may be a little bumpy or have some obstacles yeah. because that path of possibility can be scary. But on the other side of it, there's a there's a potential that it has so much more on the other side if you're just willing to overcome that fear and don't freeze. I love how you just, you unpack that so well, Lindsay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. So the next, the next inspiration point that you shared with us is yeah. superpowers. This is cool. I really <laughs> like how you kind of phrase this. So you, you identify two superpowers. First one is self-discipline and the mm-hmm. second one is possibility. So explain what that means and why you consider these superpowers. Uh, so it, it builds on the mindset and all of that. Because our mindset, our our fixed mindsets, our defaults are formed when we're children. That's why those paths are so well trotted down because we've been walking those paths since we're little kids. So it's very comfortable for us. And if we weren't trained to think of possibility, if we weren't trained to be disciplined, to 
breathe through fear, like you're afraid, breathe. Like, let's think of the facts. Is there anything to be afraid of? Is there a possibility that I could fall down? What happens if I fall down? I'm going to get back up. So just understanding that not everybody's trained that way. So Mm -hmm. making it very intentional, at least with my kids. And because I know what I know now, I'm, I can be, I'm aware. So now I can care. I wasn't trained this way when I was a kid and it's not a fault of my parents. It wasn't an intentional, like, I want to keep her in a fixed mindset. They didn't know what they didn't know. I know differently. So I'm going to teach my kids differently. And it's so critical that we all become aware of how our words are affecting those superpowers. Are you disciplining your kids? Not even disciplining. Are you teaching them to self-discipline? Like pick up your shoes, go take care of your shoes. When you get home, don't leave them, don't leave them there. And with my kids, I see so many of my, uh, I don't know if they're genetic, but like my, my negative (laughs) qualities coming out at times where I'm like, ah, this is where I need to be more (laughs) self-disciplined. I need to, to flex my superpower of self-discipline so that they see the possibility of what could be. And so that they're not going down that path and having to learn the same lesson that I'm learning now, later, they can learn it earlier and have a better scope of possibility that I, I am just now opening the door to. Oh my gosh, this, this is really good. And and I think not only as a parent, but, and as a leader, you can use the superpowers to create so much more potential. And I love what you said, you're aware so that you can care. And, you know, I think a lot of us in some, in some respect will shy away from what you may want to call confrontation, Mm -hmm. but here you are kind of walking into, you know, Hey, look, my, my kids are dropping their shoes where they shouldn't be. And it's, it would be easy to ignore it, Mm -hmm. but you're creating a self-discipline by caring enough. You're one, you're aware about it. And two, you're care enough to say, Hey, look, let's move our shoes where they need to go. Sounds like a super simple kind of thing that a lot of us may overlook and may not care about, but I love that you're aware of it and you care enough to say, Hey, look, let's, let's create excellence in the way that we are kind of taking care of the things around us and the way that we do things. And that's, that's your approach. And even more than that, it's not even just the, the actions, the, the picking up the shoes, it's the words that we're saying. Um, so going back to mindset, we put our own lids on our thinking. And if we aren't able to be aware of what we're saying is putting that lid on, then we, we never get out of that fixed mindset. So, um, there's instances where, you know, kids will say, oh, I can't do that. And, and as parents, we're like, oh, that's no big, like, okay, like, let me help. But them saying, I can't do that is fixed mindset. And turning on not only my superpower, but their superpower of possibility of saying, you know, you might not be able to do it now, but it doesn't mean that you won't be able to do it in the future or you can't do it yet. Just adding that one word onto that phrase of yet Mm-hmm. takes it from an absolute to a possibility. Oh, that's, I that's can't a... do that. I can't do that yet. So anytime that I hear them say that, I say, you can't do that yet. And they have to say it back to me because we're not going to walk down that path of, I can't do that. We're going to walk down the path of, well, I can't do that yet. Oh, Lindsay, and I think... There's... That is, that is so brilliant that just adding that word yet to the end of a negative statement just flips it over into a Mm -hmm. growth mindset. And I love that you do that. And I think as, you know, as a parent myself, just adding that and as a leader, because Lindsay, you know, you're a leader and Mm -hmm. when you do that, when you're aware enough to care to say, Hey, look, I know you can't do that now, but 
let's say we can't do that yet and let's figure out how to do that. Right. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it creates a culture. Um, like in my household, my kids will, if I say something that's an absolute, you can't do that yet, mom. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're making me better. But even with, even with uh, work and things like that, like, you know, wanting, having goals and trying to reach and strive for things or, um, you know, having your team be stuck or maybe they're the wrong butt in the wrong seat. All of that is just figuring out that possibility path and making it work. It might not be working right now or it might not be working yet, but that doesn't mean it can't work. Oh my gosh. Or Lindsay. it won't work. Right. Lindsay, there's just so many great things. <laughs> I I love that you're just you're dropping huge nuggets of wisdom with us. And and this has been such a great conversation. I always enjoy chatting with you because you're like I said, you're one of just the smartest people that I know. You're such a great thinker. And I I just love learning from you every time I chat with you. So I thank you so much. But Lindsay, we're getting close to the end of our time. But before we wrap up, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us. My my thought is just every everybody has the possibility of making an impact, whether it's with your co-leaders, your downline, your upline, you're always teaching somebody. Somebody's always watching you. And are you projecting that you are trotting down a path that you've always walked or are you giving them the path of possibility? That is so good. Just be that, be that picture of possibility, yeah. no matter be where the, you're be at. Be the possibility, absolutely. Be, be the possibility, even better. Don't be a picture that's hanging on the wall. Be the possibility. Right. That's that's like action. <laughs> See, Lindsay, you just make that. things better. Every time I chat with you, I got to thank oh, you so much. <laughs> Gary, I'm so honored to be here. Thank you so much for, for allowing me to share and just be a part of what you're doing in your super fantastic way. It's just incredible. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you so much. I appreciate you being on this episode. It's super fantastic exchange. Guys, make sure you check out Lindsay on LinkedIn. I'm going to put a link to Social Media Torch as well. Guys, y'all keep an eye out for Lindsay Smith. Mark that name because I promise you she is going to continue just to climb the, the, the ladder of awesomeness, super fantasticness, if you will. Just watch out. I promise you, you're going to see Lindsay Smith's name out there. It's going to be incredible. So thank you again. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you on the next episode.